we are discussing about solutions for gate 2007 ECE and the topic is electron devices we are discussing about the one mark questions this is second one mark question appeared in gate 2010 thin gate oxide in a CMOS process is preferably grown using a wet oxidation b dry oxidation c epitaxial deposition d ion implantation thin oxide thin gate oxide in a CMOS process is preferably grown using wet oxidation, dry oxidation, epitaxial deposition, ion implantation. Correct answer for this one is dry oxidation. Oxidation is the process of formation of silicon dioxide layer from silicon. Thermal oxidation is most commonly used technique to grow silicon dioxide on silicon. Thermal oxidation since this oxidation process is going to be carried at higher temperatures that's why the name has thermal oxidation so the usual temperature range is from 900 to 1200 degree centigrade oxidation process can be performed in two different methods one is dry oxidation and other is wet oxidation dry oxidation is nothing but oxygen gas is reacts with silicon to form silicon dioxide layer so here oxygen gas is going to be treated as dry so dry oxidation the equation for this one is silicon plus oxygen gives rise to silicon dioxide silicon is solid oxygen is gas silicon dioxide is again solid it exhibits excellent electrical characteristics at silicon silicon dioxide interface but with lower growth rate so it is used to form thin oxide that is gate oxide in MOSFET fabrication gate oxide is nothing but that is the oxide residing between gate and channel which is very very thin and that is going to be acting as a dielectric material for the mass capacitor action so that this very thin gate oxide where we are going to use dry oxidation because of its electrical characteristics excellent electrical characteristics the mass capacitor action is perfect so it is used in is used for the thin gate oxide next wet oxidation wet oxidation for wet oxidation highly purified deionized water or water vapor is used to react with silicon to form silicon dioxide highly purified deionized water or water vapor is used to react silicon from silicon with silicon to form silicon dioxide so silicon is solid 2h2o is gas water vapor that is going to be reacted so that gives rise to silicon dioxide solid plus 2H2 hydrogen gas wet oxidation has higher growth rate but it has poor electrical characteristics when compared to dry oxidation so it is used to form thin oxide the use of thin oxide is nothing but which isolates interaction between nearby transistors and also interaction between different metal layers so it stops interaction it is going to prevent the interaction between nearby transistors and communication between the different layers in both dry and wet oxidation silicon is consumed from the surface of substrate to form silicon dioxide in both dry and wet oxidations silicon is consumed from the surface of substrate to form silicon dioxide for every 1 micron of silicon dioxide grown 44% of silicon is consumed that leads to a 2.2 times of volume expansion of the consumed layer upon oxidation the correct answer for us for the given problem is thin oxide in a CMOS process is preferably grown using dry oxidation because of its excellent electrical characteristics thank you